interesting day. Um, you know I was doing the, the video of the property for sale, a friend's got a villa for sale, I'll add the link here if you haven't seen it already. I showed a real estate agent the difference between mine and his, uh, because he's got, let, let's just say very low views, less than 20, whether it's on Facebook or whether it's on YouTube, doesn't matter, because I did both just to show him. My YouTube version of the one I did is already over 108 viewings. The one I did for Facebook is nearly 700. Now, has it sold the property? Well, the answer is no, not yet. But the reality is, for a real estate business, a lot of the time it's not about actually selling. It's about getting people to know where you are, because a lot of people do not know what they want to buy in the first place. You need to make, get people making contact, so you can tell them they need to buy something from you. So it's publicity that's more important initially. Of course you want to be selling houses, but you want to get people through the door. So, we had a chat with that, and he was quite happy with that, but it's ended up opening up some other opportunities. Um, I'll add a couple of links in at his video, well, during his video, so you can have a look. One of them is a chain that goes round a ball. The ball could be a basketball, it could be a football, it could be whatever. Um, the reality is these could be made, and we're currently looking at how to market it and get some more business in that way. Another product that the same guy's got is some sort of protein, uh, vitamin type stuff, which has been endorsed and put together by somebody from the Olympics. Um, it's a, an Olympic nutritionist or something. So I'm having a look at that because that business is prime for multi-level marketing. It, I'm not a fan of multi-level marketing, as you know, but that type of product is an ideal one for it because it's a proven track record of being able to sell vitamins and nutrition stuff. The MLM is very, very good at that. So that's another product that we're looking to roll out because the product's already there. These products already exist. They just lack the marketing, which is where we're coming in. So what I've got is we've got the um, multi-level marketing thing with the nutrition stuff I'm looking at how we're going to market that we've got the ball thing which we're looking at how to get that into a sports company somewhere because ideally that sort of thing you want to get get a good large company to take it on board then just take a cut and then let them run it because uh, you could sell a few thousand a year they could sell a few million so that's where we are with that. This is where I'm off to today. I'm off to have a sit around and have a chat with a few of the other ideas. Um, the real estate stuff, we're still discussing because my personal view is if he can't get his business partners on board, I need to take this to another real estate agent. Um, either that or start my own because I'll be honest with you, I find the technology in Spain is like 1990. Um, a lot of the internet stuff just simply hasn't developed. People just don't use it in the same way as we do elsewhere. Uh, I mean, they, they do have people obviously browsing and stuff, but the, the internet websites are so dire. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it, dire. Um, because if you want a car parts place, for example, there's a huge one in Toybecha. They don't even have a list of their own parts. Something very, very simple, which just needs to be linked, linked with the car parts numbers um, for various vehicles, which you can probably get most of the information from manufacturer, or even the car parts um, suppliers will give you it. It's just a case of databasing it, and then saying we've got four in stock, what's available, or what car is for, etc. Because you'd be selling at least 40% more on the internet because it takes ages to get anywhere in Spain because it's such a large country. eBay doesn't really do well in Spain. No idea why not. Um, so there's a, there's a few things here where I'm just seeing huge opportunities to make some serious money. 
Um, today, like I said, I'm off to have a chat with a real estate agent guy and see where we can take things because he, he's got the concept, he understands where I'm coming from with the, the videos for properties. But he's got two other partners in the business which um, are, of a, are of an older generation to say politely. But with real estate, there's no point having an office here. If you look around, well, let's just say I look around and there's a lot of real estate agencies that are simply just empty offices because the people are only there when they've got customers. Which basically tells you they're doing most of their work on the internet but it's not even been done that well. So there's huge potential here. And if you think you can get lead generation for us, get in touch. Because I can tell you where we can make some serious money quite quickly if you can convert people wanting to buy or sell um, to get in touch with me. Because we can sell those leads extremely easily um, in multiple ways. We can take a fixed amount, say for a property listing, or we can take a percentage on the sales. Ideally, we want to be involved in more than one level because we want money coming in from everywhere. But it, the whole point of this, why I sit here babbling on, talking about it while I'm in the car heading off to where I'm going, is I'm not interested in taking everything for myself. I'm trying to get a few good people to work with so that we can all benefit from each other. It also means that if I decide to go off to France for a month, that Whoever is running a business alongside me, or maybe there's two or three other people, the business doesn't fail. There's, because at the end of the day, a good business runs on more than one person. Because if, it, if the person dies, and the business, the, the business can often die with it, because the one person normally controls everything. I want to move away from that model. That, that model is completely obsolete. It's no good for my family in long term, and short term I can't travel around as much <laughs> and that, that's why I'm doing this to travel if I want to work and go back to the UK and just work I'm trying to get it so I've got a freer life and making money on a regular basis the English stuff is going ahead I'm still working on the platform um, I'm doing my own video concepts this week so I've done a couple of trial videos just to see how they do uh, I've had some positive feedback on them but the quality isn't as, as good as I would like. I'm just about to do another video today relating to uh, property rentals in, in the Philippines, which is using a piece of software in a whiteboard sense, just to sort of see how that goes. Because I, personally, I don't like them. I don't like the whiteboard presentations. I find they all look the same. Um, but I know other people might find it useful, so that's why I'm quite happily put it up there, see what other people think, because if you like it, then I'll use it, you know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that I won't do it, but I'm nearly there, so thanks for watching.